Howdy folks, welcome back to FinOps for Finance. This week I'm going to cover an, the introduction to FinOps certification. So this is a new course that has been launched in March 24 that covers, as the name suggests, an introduction to, to FinOps. This is a free course that the FinOps Foundation have created for anyone looking to dip their toe in and get an understanding of what FinOps is all about. It's designed, it doesn't get too technical, so it kind of covers the language and gives you a really high level understanding of the kind of things that you might be doing on a day-to-day -day basis without hopefully getting too many people lost lost in the weeds. What I'm going to cover today is I'm going to give an overview of the course itself. I'll delve a layer into the detail what's actually covered in the course. I'll also touch on the quiz which is there at the end of the course that you need to pass to get the certification and then you can share your badge with your network and, and start your journey on the certification path to becoming a FinOps practitioner. So first up, the most important thing is this course is free. Um, I'll put the link in the show notes where you can follow it to the FinOps Foundation to register for the course, but it is completely free of charge. So if you're even half considering getting started in FinOps, I would definitely recommend doing this. What it does is it builds a basic understanding by covering the framework for FinOps itself. So it goes through the principles, the domains, the capabilities, everything involved in, in doing FinOps at a really high level. The material itself is multimedia, so it's a mix of text, there's some videos, there's some knowledge checks throughout, so it's, it's quite engaging and, and not not the worst training I've, I've ever done, um, if I'm being honest, so it's it's definitely worth worth giving giving go. What I do like about it as well is it's got a, this choose your own adventure element to it, so after you cover the base material at the start, you get to pick your persona. So a persona is the type of person that might be interested in FinOps. So the personas covered are there's leadership, finance, procurement, the product team, and the engineering team. So you can pick whichever one of those resonates with yourself. And what it'll do then is it'll show what FinOps looks like through that lens. So you get a Bit of a better understanding. Um, so anyone listening to this, probably the finance one might be might be worth giving a go, but you can also try some of the others. It's not a case that you pick one and then that's your choice gone. You can go back and you can do the course from the other perspectives. Uh, the course, looking at it in detail, how it breaks down, first off it goes into the what is FinOps piece. So there they give an overview of the framework, the principles, the personas, at the domain's capabilities. It also covers the, the phases of FinOps, so inform, optimize, operate, and the maturity model, crawl, walk, run. So it gives it a really high level view of, of that. Also, an important thing to note is that the material is updated to reflect the latest FinOps framework. So you might have heard about the framework being updated in March 24. This course takes that into account. So it's using the same language. Therefore, if you were starting off completely fresh, this is a really good base because a lot of the language that you hear here, 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 <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, um, you will also see if you do the Certified Practitioner course, which is the, the, the next level of certification for FinOp. So there's a level of consistency there. Um, it also covers the, the, why it, the Why It Matters section within the course, gives it from the persona's view. Um, so how does FinOps apply to that particular persona? So an engineer for, is concerned with the theory of constraints. So they can only, they can get it fast, they can get it cheap, or they can get it readily available. So it's it's showing that, that trade-off from a finance point of view. It's showing about the budgeting, the forecasting elements. So depending on the persona that you pick, it'll, it'll dictate how, why that kind of matters. Um, so that's where the persona deep dives deep. It also gives you, no matter which one you pick, it gives you a view of the different personas within FinOps as well and how they interact with the journey you've selected. So for example, when you pick finance, it'll also show you engineering and it'll take you through 
ways to speak their language. It might take you through procurement and it might talk about PORs, RFPs, POs, purchase orders. So you get familiar with that language as well at a really high level. So it's quite good to kind of level set. And, and then you'll also get a perspective from those personas when they think about FinOps, what are they thinking about? So even anyone that's doing FinOps, this is, this is a worthwhile exercise. The conclusion section is quite good as well because it kind of talks about actionable next steps. So if you are a finance persona looking at FinOps, what are some of the questions you might be asking? Who are some of the people that you might be talking to? So it, it gives you that view as well. Um, so you've done all your knowledge, you've gone through the course material, and then you get to the end of the quiz. The quiz is 10 questions. They're all pretty basic and they're all based on a material that you would have covered in the course itself. There is no pass fail. So as you do the quiz, um, if you get an incorrect answer, you can just try again and there's no penalty for that. So you can try as many times as you want, put in the right answer, and then you really rather than um, being pinged for being right or being wrong. Um, and then once the quiz is complete, you get your certification that you can share online. And then you also get a 10% code that you can use for the certification certified practitioner exam. So from, so 10% off, I think the course about 300 bucks. So for the sake of 30 bucks, it's worth, it's definitely worth, worth doing the, doing the course. To, to get that discount, if nothing else, because you will learn something, you'll get a different perspective, but at the end of the day, you'll save some cash as well. So it's all it's all gravy. So that's it, um, a short, short episode this week. But to kind of recap, it's a no brainer really for anyone that's starting out because it's a shot to nothing. It hasn't cost you anything. And plus you get a flavor for what FinOps might involve. Therefore, if it's not for you, you can always just move on to something else. <laughs> um, whereas if it is something you're interested in, it could demonstrate your learning journey. Um, so the certificate itself for an intro to FinOps, it's not really worth a while pile. Like it's not going to get you a job or an interview. But if someone sees that, okay, someone has done an intro to FinOps certification, then they've gone on and they've got practitioner. Then they've gone on and got a base cloud practitioner certification, like from one of the main main providers, it, it's an easy story to tell in an interview about how you built that knowledge, how you're slowly but surely moving and iterating and growing. So from that point of view, it's it's a really good place to, to start. And it also just gives you gives you an understanding of, of what kind of to expect, what, what day to day might look like, because Oftentimes we kind of start start a career and you do your course in college or school or whatever it is, and you get to your first day and it's not anywhere close to what the, what the actual uh, course doesn't really prepare you for it. Whereas here you get an idea of the day-to-day -day challenges and opportunities and conversations that you'll be having. So from that point of view, it's it's well worth doing as well. That's all I had for this week. Any questions, comments, anything you'd like to know more of, anything you'd like to double click on, just let me know, leave a comment below and we'll chat to you all soon. Take care. And where do I stop this thing? Stop. And stop.